Hi artists, welcome back to the Epic Online Art Camp. This Saturday we're going to be sculpting salt dough cactus sculptures. So you're going to need a few supplies for this. One thing is a tray to mix everything in. So I use like an old takeout tray. Um, you could also use a baking um, dish or something else that has a little bit of a lip so that you don't make a big mess when you're mixing this. You could also use a bowl if you want to mix it in a big bowl. So the for the recipe you're going to need salt. So I just use uh, salt like this and a fourth a cup. You're also going to need flour, two thirds of a cup of flour. And if you have a gluten allergy, you're welcome to sub this for almond flour, coconut flour, or if you just want to get some air dry clay or model magic, even Play-Doh is fine to use instead. And then you're going to need water, a fourth a cup of water. And then we're going to mix these all together to create a salt dough. The salt dough is kind of sticky um, and you can bake it for a little bit at a low temperature to try to dry it out a little bit. And it does kind of swell a little bit. So what I did is when I made the little base for my cactus, I pressed the salt dough into a small container and let it dry in the, in the fridge overnight so that the next day I could just pop it out of there and it would have kind of that shape. You can also just make a pinch pot if you don't have a little container the right size that you want. I also want to make sure that you're not making a mess. So what I did here is I taped a piece of parchment paper down to my table. You'll see in the video. You could use aluminum foil, a giant sheet of paper, a tarp, maybe even go outside to do this one um, but check with your parents first and make sure they're okay with where you're working um, as I said before it can get a little bit messy all right let's get started sculpting these beautiful little cactuses all right friends let's go ahead and get started mixing up our salt dough so as you can see I put my two-thirds a cup of flour in my little container ready to mix so I'm gonna pour in a fourth a cup of salt and then I'm gonna add the water and kind of blend this all together Take my ring off real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the water in and then just kind of start stirring it around. If you love slime and you love touching gooey stuff, you're gonna like this project. Okay, so notice I laid down the parchment paper below. See how you can flick out some flour sometimes? So just go ahead and make sure that you have something down that you're not going to make a mess on your table. All right, keep stirring this until you have an even consistency. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video. Okay, once you have your dough a nice consistency that you're ready to um, mold with or sculpt with, you're going to take about half of it, maybe a little bit less, and you can go ahead and press it into a little container. Go ahead and use plastic or glass um, just because you want this to come out easily. You don't want this to get stuck in there, and you can tell it's kind of sticky. So anyway, I'm going to press it down into this and kind of build the shape of the pot. Okay, once you have this part, we're going to go ahead and start making our cactus. So what I did is I started by rolling a coil, and you guys remember a coil? We're going to take a lump and just kind of roll it out. And I made kind of like a traditional three-armed cactus. If you want to make a different kind of plant or succulent, that's fine with me. Um, another tip is that if you find that it's really droopy, um, you can always add more flour into the recipe. Or you might even stick a toothpick in the middle. Don't do that before you bake it. Make sure you're doing that after you bake it. Um, but those are some things that might kind of help it. Okay, so I'm going to set my first one in for the cactus. And then I'm going to add some arms. So I'm going to roll a smaller coil. I'm going to go ahead and just break this in half. 
and then add these arms onto my cactus. So I'm just gonna kind of mold them on there. And then what I did is I took the leftover and I made tiny little rocks. So you can just get little pieces and roll them and stick them in there. This also helps the cactus stay up. Setting the rocks around it helps it so it doesn't kind of droop all around. Okay, what I did too is I added a little flower on top of mine. So if you want, you can create a little flower to go on top. You can make little spikes if you wanna make a little outfit for it. But that's basically the sculpture. So now what I did with mine is, I told you I put mine in the fridge overnight. Um, another choice is you can bake this. Now you're not wanting to burn it, you're just wanting to dry it out a little bit. So you wanna set the oven at about 200 and maybe for about 15 minutes just to dry it out a little bit. Um, and then if it's still droopy, you can put some toothpicks inside to give it a little bit more strength. Um, and then what I did is I just left it out to dry overnight and then I um, popped it out of the container and I painted mine with acrylic paint. You could also use um, watercolors, oil pastel, whatever you want to use to add color to it. And that's basically all we're going to do. This was the recipe for just one batch. So if you're having multiple kids make this, just go ahead and double or triple the recipe for however much salt dough you need. All right, I can't wait to say, see your uh, cactus sculptures. If you want, send us a picture of what you're working on so we can see that you guys made these at home. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.